Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about something um, and then we'll get into a video shortly. So with my videos, I'm going to be trying to be posting every weekday. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and yeah, stay tuned. Let's get into the video here. Okay, so today's video we are, as you'll see by the title, going through uh, my tackle box. And yeah, so as you guys probably would expect, I've got a tackle box in my tackle box. And this tackle box is full of all of my favorite lures, hooks, split ring, or split shots, everything I need, sinkers. Now, this is one of the lures I've got. This was given to me by one of our friends. And yeah, it's a Chinese lure. But one of my other friends says that one of his friends um, caught a barra on this. Or on a lure just like it. But yeah. This by far has to be one of my favorite lures. It's an RMG natural um, colors, pretty sure. No, that was the other one. No, this is, as you can tell, no, this is the natural colors. Um, an RMG three meter diver. Um, yeah, as you can tell, orange and gold. But yeah, this has to be one of my favorite lures. I love that one. And then everyone that goes freshwater fishing pretty much has a frog. Now, I've got a frog and I barely go freshwater fishing, but that'll change now that we're here in Toowoomba. And yeah, I'm hoping to catch some big fish on this lure. Yeah, I have, uh, one of my friends is like, oh, I really want that lure, I want that lure. And I'm like, yeah, we'll go to BCF. Um, I got a little tiny worm, um, yeah, this has to be a very special, ah, uh, this has to be a very special lure to me, it was my great granddad's, and I had a look through all of his gear and tackle, and this has to be one of my most favourites of what was in there. These are hooks off of one another lure that I had. These weren't the original hooks. But yeah. And then there's these two. I bought these when I bought this blue tackle box. And yeah. I've used the green one before. I no, I haven't used this one yet. I've only used this one. It's a really good lure. You can get them at Kmart. They're pretty good for what you buy. And then I have these lures. Just a little thing that I got from Kmart. I've used that one before. But I don't think I've used this one before. It's pretty much the same thing. This one's just pink and a deeper diver. Now, yeah. Hopefully we'll be catching some really, uh, yellow belly with this one. As most fishermen will do, we'll have split shots. Got heaps of them. I got these sinkers. I've got these sinkers. Bean sinkers, ball sinkers. And then size one hooks. I think. And that's it for that tackle box. And then we move, we'll go to the small one actually. So in this tackle box, I have this lure here. This was a funny one. So the last, pretty much one of the last times I went fishing with my friend Dean Gladstone, um, we found some line. Um, and the tide was a little bit up. And the line was just like 
just a bit into the water that too far that we couldn't get to it and there was waves and it just wasn't happening it was all snagged up in the rocks and so the next day I went fishing with him and one of my other friends again and the tide was lower I went down and I found this on the end of it but yeah it's a pretty good lure, uh, lure. 28 gram Silver lure. Oh, ooh, I haven't seen these in a while. I haven't really gone fishing in a long time since we've been in Toowoomba. And this hook has decided I don't want to be in this tackle box anymore. Will it fit? Yes, it'll fit. Okay. So I've got a whole bunch of these. That's for the blue tackle box to put in the spaces. Um, I've got this little bobber. That came with a tackle box kit that my dad got me when we when I was eight. I'd always wanted a tackle box and he got me one for Christmas and I was so happy. And that's one of the hooks that came with it. And then when we're in Gladstone, I went and bought a whole bunch of these um, silver bait holders. I love these hooks. When I was fishing, there was this place called Patsy Lee's Way, or something like that. I, I'd always bring bait holders. Bait holders and octopus hooks, my favourite. And that's it for the mini tackle box. Uh, we'll go on to these first. So, our second year in Gladstone, my dad got me these for Christmas. Along with two packets of lures, I've used a lot of those lures and lost them. But these are split ring pliers, you cut your scissors there, and yeah, like, they're pretty decent. I used to use them to cut braid and stuff, they used to be sharp enough for that. Not anymore. Got a knife, just a little fillet knife. I share that one with my dad. It's more his than mine, but this is a hook remover. I don't really use it, but I like having it just in case. This was my great granddad's actually. I've got a yellow one that was that came in my tackle box that my dad got me for Christmas. Um yeah, I had another one from my great granddad. It was an orange one. I don't remember what happened to that one. This is um, Daiwa Sea Line, um, 15 pound fishing line. This is the stuff that me and my dad used to use when we were fishing in Dora Creek, New South Wales. We'd always use this stuff. And we'd always catch lots of little broom, whiting. It was always the best. But then we moved up to Brisbane, and then we didn't really go fishing much. Then we moved to Gladstone, and then fishing was the next best, the, the best thing up there, pretty much. And as I was talking about Patsy Lee's before, this is 100-pound fishing line, just so that when you're fishing, because there's a lot of snags there, you don't want to lose your tackle. So I got really heavy pound so that it didn't snap off. And... Now we're on to the last tackle box. Oh yeah, and I got my trusty measuring tape. This one I bought at Kmart um, as a kit. And it's just filled with all of my lures, really. Okay, let's start with this one. Okay, so this lure here, it has melted a lot. But it is still sort of this right shape. Um, I found this lure at Calliope River at a low tide. It took me a while to get it, but I went and got it. And I like these treble hooks, how they're all bent in. And then there was one that was fully bent in, and I tried snapping it out, and then it snapped. And it flew into my lip. So, yeah. Stick them there. Um, this was part of the kit. I got a rattle trap. Um... I really like um, these types of lures. I'm just not very good at using them. 
these are some of my favorite like divers are my absolute favorite while fishing um i got this part of the kit as well um i had a yellow one as i showed you earlier those little um golden black ones in the first tackle box um i had one that looked like that um shallow diver but it was a bigger one but it was this big and then i hooked onto a barra at a wonga dam and it snapped my line in the weeds and i lost it this was one of the others that came in the tackle box in the kit um i also had another one of these and it sunk and it wasn't a very good lure but some are good some are bad as i was talking to you earlier about my one of our friends giving me lures this was another one of the lures that he gave me um i can't remember where that one was from and as i was saying earlier when we we're in gladstone my dad got me lures and those blue pliers this was the types of lures that we got this is peanut butter and mint i think something like that and this was the other one they both used to have the yellow weights they're just not very strong in the hooks or not very and not very weighty so i changed this one this was kiwi fruit or something like that or pb and j or something can't quite remember but no this was kiwi fruit and mint and this one was pb and j peanut butter and jelly one of my friends that i was fishing with in gladstone he gave me this lure when he was going through all of the lures that he didn't want in his tackle box because he has like three like i got one in here big boxes like that that's not a ta it's a tackle box but it doesn't have tackle in it um he used to have three big ones of that sort of thing all in his um backpack and it was just getting too heavy and too awkward to carry here's another so it's a smaller rattle trap that came with the kit same as this one um there's this one we went to Calide in Villa Wheeler um and we we're about to go out on the boat and these guys were telling us what to look for and how to do it and gave us some lures of what we should use around to try and catch some barramundi and that was one of the lures they gave us here's a quick tip that they gave us i'll just tell you guys if you get lures like this soft plastics and stuff always boil hot water and dick them in, uh, dunk them in it for about um about a minute or so it just softens the plastic so that it's got more of that action in the back um another worm a longer one here we go there's the other half of that worm that i showed you earlier so this one was found by one of our friends at Calide and we're at a camp there and this is a barramundi lure i'll just tell you a quick story so i was with one of my friends his name's jumbi he made this boat sort of like it's a canoe pretty much it's a wooden canoe made out of an old boat called the shona it was an old sailboat that they were demolishing and so he was uh demolishing that and he was taking some of the wood and building a boat and he'd gone through a whole bunch of stages of trying to put whippersnipper engines lawnmower engines and then he finally bought a boat engine that he didn't have to get a license for so he got this and we went out to calide again <laughs> and we stuck this on the line and we started going trawling with his boat 
and we hooked up to a really big barra and it took us right down and then he got off sadly <laughs> all right this isn't actually my lure i just have it in my tackle box from going to fraser island um this was my dad's tailor lure that he used to use in lake macquarie and yeah he's got some really big fish on that one um this was a lure i found in a tree i stole the hooks off of that and i lost them by accident this is another one of those lures like this one i got a whole bunch of them that they gave us it's the same thing here's another one <laughs> Um, this again isn't my lure, it's my dad's, it's his squid lure. And I'll just give you an idea of what these hooks are like. That's so that when the squid swallow it, it like, and they try and get away, it just like gouges out the insides and it gets hooked on properly. But these hooks are razor sharp. Like, I could, I, I'm like digging into my skin and I'm just touching it. But yeah, so that's that one. Then we got another one of those kit, um, ones from the kit. I've stolen a hook off of that to shove on this one. This was my great granddad's swim bait. Oh, not swim bait. Um, what's it called? Spinner bait. And I've mended that one. It was the hook completely snapped. So I've just fixed that one, and there's that one still. This was, again, my great-granddad's. It was one of the ones that he used when he went to Fraser Island. And I think this was the lure that he caught the dewfish on. He caught his 90 centimeter dewfish, black dewfish. And yeah, he really enjoyed that one. I saw, I was going through some of the photos at his house. I found a photo of him holding it and it's going, like, he's turned around. It's going all the way down to the back of his knees. It was a big fish. This, again, part of the lures, like this one. And I can't find the other one, but it doesn't matter. And... Another worm, different rig. It's got a weedless on it. Stick that one in there. Again, same as this one, given to me by one of our friends. Um, where is it? My great granddad's one that um the diver that I was showing you before. This, those are the hooks off of this lure. That was part of the kit with the um. I can't remember the name of them. Oh, I can't remember. They're vibes, but there's another name for them that I said earlier. Um, here's another one of these um kiwi fruit and mint things. Um, this is the small one. I had a big one of these, same size as these ones. And I went barra fishing at Kalamunda, different place to Calide. It's in Gladstone, not Bilawila. And I kind of like lost it in the weeds. <laughs> that was a fun day. Um, yeah, I've got a big weedless. I've got jig heads. I've got, I forgot the name of these ones. I've got, uh, hook rings and yeah I've got a little tiny brim hook I've got a spare treble hook I've got a clip and a whole bunch of these treble hook covers for these things ow that just went into me you get them and you just stab them onto your thing and then boom but yeah, they're really cool. But yeah, that's my tackle box. Glad I could show you this to you. Um, please like and subscribe. Stick around. Um, yeah, just one more thing. 
Oh, and a mind blank. Never mind. Yeah, stick around.